podcast is going to be on solving rational inequalities graphically and using um, algebra. So we'll start with the algebraic approach and always first factor. So we can see this becomes the top and bottom x plus 2, x plus 1 and x plus 4, x minus 4. Now from there you can see all the values that make the numerator 0 are minus 2 and minus 1. The denominator 0 are minus 4 and plus 4. Alright, so that means that um, we fill these in because it is less than, greater than or equal to, but we leave these as open circles because you can never divide by 0. Okay? But those are the one, two, three, four critical points that we need to check the regions on. Looking over here at this side, taking a value like negative 10, you get a negative value, negative 8, negative 9, so negative times negative is positive, and then you get negative times negative, which is also positive. So over here the graph is positive, and we're interested in that area. Then, a value between negative 2 and negative 4 is negative 3, which would make this negative, 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 positive, and negative. So, altogether, the graph will be negative in that area. We're not interested in that. Then, between negative 1 and negative 2, negative 1.5, this will be positive, this will be negative, this will be positive, and this will be negative. So, um, positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, number of negatives are even, so therefore the graph is positive. We want the graph to be positive. Okay, between negative 1 and 4, 0, which this is positive, this is positive, this is positive, this is negative, so the graph is negative, we're not interested in that. Something bigger than 4, say 10, Positive, 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 positive. That means the graph is positive and we're interested. Stating our final answer, x is less than negative 4 or x is between negative 2 and negative 1 or x is greater than 4. Okay, so let's say you need to solve this graphically. Here, is what the graph looks like. I put it into y1. Be very careful, your graph is around the whole top and around the whole bottom. You'll have to play with the window a little bit. And here you notice, oops, here you notice the asymptote at negative 4. Here you're not sure what's going on. You need to maybe zoom in there. And here you've got another asymptote at 4. If I look at the graph, I can see that my function is positive here, just like we identified. It's negative here. We can't really see what's going on here. It's positive over here. That's good. So let's get in here and have a look. Looks like we're going to want to look from negative 4, maybe up to 4. And let's just look negative 0.5 and 0.5. OK. You can sort of see it's coming up and over. I've also graphed the line y equals 1. So what I can do is I can try to find the intersection between those two curves. And I get the value negative 1, just like here. Okay? So negative 1, and then the graph goes up until over here. So I want to find this. So I find the other intersection by scrolling over to the left, enter, 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 and I see it's negative 2. So you can see the graph is above here, and then it's negative in between, which we're not interested in, but we are interested in where it is positive here. And that's the end.